Why do you shit on people like that? Is it because you're unhappy or are you really angry at somebody actually getting that grade of money? I My get it. I get it because I come from, listen, asshole. Yeah, I, I was that WCW way before you. I could wrestle you around a fucking goddamn, I could fucking beat your ass, asshole. I <laughs> did not really do it, probably, but I'm just saying when it came to wrestling. And then your fucking ass comes in after me and you get all that money and I get shit. Fuck you. You know, that's why that's, you know, that's probably how I felt. I mean, that's me. But have I ever gone out there and said shit like that? We all knew that the fucking men treated us like shit and the company treated women like shit. We knew that it was a thing. It's like it was accepted and we just moved on and carried on about other subjects. But let's stop calling the kettle. Listen, asshole, you got 10 times more than I did. And I was, I, you know, people can say, oh, you were new. You didn't draw this. You were that. You weren't in the NWO. Well, you know what? There was a lot of flag shipping there, sweetheart. There was a lot of cock blocking. <laughs> you know, you guys were just, it was a shit show in WCW. There was so much misogynist bullshit that there, you know, women didn't have a chance. And except for the ones that you wanted to give a chance to, you know what I'm saying? So maybe if some of those men, you know, stopped fucking doing extracurricular activities, they probably wouldn't be so angry at other people making money and them losing all of theirs on all the bullshit and the choices that they made when they weren't supposed to and they should have been focusing on their shit at home instead of other fucking shit. Period. There. I digress. My, uh, you have obviously very personal feelings about this and rightfully so. I'm not ever going to... My, my personal feelings are... Stop being pissed at everybody. You know, I was jaded when I left the business because I was confused of why wasn't I used properly? I don't get it. I just love the sport and I want to wrestle. <laughs> you know, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, you know, after so much, you know, just being thrown to the fucking wolves per se, it just after 20 you know, years, you're just like, okay, it's time for me to retire. I see which direction it's going, and I put my time in. You know, hopefully there's a legacy there somewhere. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, and then you became a two-time Monster Truck champion because oh, instead, yeah. of, instead of, you know, doing a podcast. Now, the one thing I'll say about <laughs> Nash, and I'm going to say this, the NWO doesn't work without him more than likely. I think that's a fair statement. But Kevin Nash is the godfather of money first in the wrestling business. He's the guy that created the notion and the idea and the, or at least maybe he didn't create it. Maybe he perfected it and he certainly vocalized it louder than anybody in the room. About so the what? Man is, what? About getting paid, about his wrestling business. It's about getting oh, paid. Yes, yes. And he also... Made, they made a lot of mistakes in WCW Medusa. I can point to one that seems very simple. Nash decided he was going to wrestle Rey Mysterio. And then mm. he decided he was going to unmask Rey Mysterio. Mm. You talk about lost opportunities for merchandising. Do you know how many masks Rey Mysterio sells at WWE live events? Yeah. Do you know how many different, um, you know, uh, without really doing anything other than changing the color that you can come up with? But it was good heat. It was good TV, brother. Get the fuck out of here it was you using your political position to bury an upper mid card wrestler who didn't have the ear of eric bischoff or hulk hogan that's did, what that's did ray ray ever mention anything of like that though did, how would ray ray feel up. i haven't gone and looked after it but i mean he had to obviously agree to do it but if you're in the position that ray exactly Mysterio i'm not i'm not defending nash there but i'm just saying ray ray had to agree to do it i mean we all have the opportunity to say no right right but then again, you've got that kid. You're like, I'll lose my job. I'll lose my contract. There's nowhere else to go. Same old bullshit monopoly crap, you know? And then you got, you know, swinging dicks like Nash and all the rest just using, abusing their power. Well, my, my whole thing is with Nash, again, I just, and I don't, I don't think we can, I don't think we're beleaguering the point, but, but I don't think it can be overstated. This hmm. is a man who didn't love professional wrestling. 
He got in professional wrestling to make money. And then he bragged about it. And he bragged about holding wrestlers down. And he bragged about using his political power. And he bragged about the things that he did um, backstage that were less than ideal Medusa. And I'll leave it right there. Mm. But now you're going to just absolutely take the shotgun out and shoot Logan Paul with both barrels. Do you think Logan Paul ever orchestrated and helping other people and knowing? Do you think Logan Paul would ever shit in a human's bag or uh, shit in a human's plate of food and then watch them eat it? Do you think Logan Paul would ever do that? No, that's the difference between Logan Paul and them. Well, what I was going to get to before you got fired up again. Nash will never be the man that Logan Paul is.